We link up with our special envoy in Gaza, Valery Goria, now. The offensive has lasted for two weeks. Yesterday, we talked about the great difficulties in Gaza's hospitals. Since one was hit by a bomb, that has got worse. Yes, that's right. It was the Al-Aqsa Hospital in the center of the Gaza Strip. It's important because it serves at least five refugee camps, which is to say tens of thousands of people. Part of it was damaged, notably the operating room. I've been told that the survivors were gathered in the hall. Furthermore, it seems that mortar fire today has been falling around the hospital area again. Tell us a bit about all the people who've been displaced. We know that more than 100,000 have been received in United Nations buildings. Well, the UN buildings are full. A lot of schools have been taken up by displaced people. There clearly isn't any more space. A lot of people also sought refuge in buildings in the centre of the city, and even there, they're not safe. We filmed a building this morning that had been destroyed in the centre of Gaza. Obviously, there have been deaths. Some families have taken refuge in Gaza's hotels. I met a lot of them myself going back to my hotel yesterday evening. Whole families are sharing a single room. You had a chance to talk with them? That's right, Didier. They were ready to tell me all about their difficulties. For instance, one woman told me that her six-year-old daughter had already been through three bombardments and displacements. This woman worked in education and told me that children can't go on growing up like this, that they're losing out on their future, that all this should stop since, in her eyes, none of it makes sense. Thanks a lot, Valerie, and again, be very careful.